Dynamics S200 servo drive system includes a servo drive, a servo motor, cables and connectors. A shielding plate kit and terminals are also provided with the servo drive as accessories. Plug-in drive terminals make operation and maintenance fast, convenient, and simple. Currently using the shielding plate kit provided with the Synamics S200, ensure that the system is not only compliant with the stringent EMC requirements, but also has an enhanced reliability. Synamics S200 provides the safe torque off function and is enabled by default. There are two STL channels for connection to external safety devices. Please assemble the STL plug to the interface X131 when you use the safety function. If the safety function is not needed, please insert the STL disable plug to the servo drive. For motor shaft height from 20 to 40 mm, a new dual cable is adopted. Before installing, remember to select the proper cable direction for your application, drive and outlet or non-drive and outlet. After confirming the right cable direction, open the lever, plug the housing in the receptacle on motor side, Push and lock the lever, and ensure that the claw is locked with the rib well. You can disconnect the cable either manually or with the screwdriver. Open and lift the lever to 90 degrees. You can unplug easily. For motor shaft height over 40 mm, use the metal circular connectors and screw down. It's easy to adjust the outlet direction with rotating connectors. Align the sharp bond on the connector side and the servo drive side. A successful connection takes only one step. To remove the connector, you can safely pull it out by pressing both sides of the plug housing. The new dual cable connection is optimized to deliver effortless and reliable connectivity. Using Siemens cables, the servo drive system can achieve high interface immunity and operate reliability. Power on S200 servo drive. The default access to start drive and web server is via the service interface X127, which is intended for commissioning and diagnostics. Profnet interface X150 is also available for this. In this video, we use X127 as an example. By using Synamics Start Drive in the TIA portal, you can quickly and easily configure it as 200. As the first step, create a new project and open the project view. Then select the relevant drive. Before starting the commissioning, the security wizard will pop up automatically. Choose how you want to start the security configuration first. Activate user management and access control. Then set up a username and password for your project and drive. In the next step, select whether you want to allow guest access to the servo drive and whether you want to allow drive data to be modified via field bus communication. You can activate or deactivate web server access via the Profnet interface X150. Next, decide if you want to encrypt sensitive drive data in the backup file and on the SD card of the drive. Then you will come to a summary of all your security settings here. Select the proper motor, encoder, and holding brake for your project. 
Remember to configure the IP address and Provenet device name for your servo drive. Click Go Online in the menu bar and get your servo drive connected to your PC via the service interface X127. Now you have finished the whole setup. The next step is to carry out the guided quick startup. First, decide whether to configure the servo drive in the project together with the controller. Second, select how the drive will be used in your application. Speed control or positioning. Here we use speed control as an example. Next, to find the minimal and maximal values for the selected motor. Please configure the digital inputs and outputs for your application as well. Click the preset telegrams and reference speed. Now you can optimize your motor with one button tuning, select the proper dynamics response settings and set the distance limiting from 0 to 720 degrees as an example. After this, the optimization results are available. Some value changes can be checked here. You'll find a summary of all settings made after completing the configuration in the guided quick startup. In the next step, we will demonstrate the jog function in start drive, open, rotate, and optimization in the project tree. Active master control. Set the jog speed. Then click the forward or backward button to check the motor running direction. Click stop button to set the velocity of your motor to zero. Click OFF button to servo off your drive. You can also use web server to configure your S200. Before configuration, remember to connect your drive to your PC via the service interface X127. To access the web server, please enter the ID address of your S200 in the browser. If the web server was called, you will be automatically transferred to define the basic settings preferred language in drive time. Then you can continue to the security wizard. Click Configure Security Settings button and active UMAC for the server drive. The security settings are checked by clicking on Finish. After finishing, you can continue with Quick Setup. Logging with your username and password. Here you can get information about your drive, motor, encoder, and holding brake. Now the interface displays the data of the motor. You can select the direction of motor rotation to clockwise or counterclockwise. Here you can find the encoder data. And remember to edit the servo limited values. Configure the digital inputs and outputs for your application as well. 
Once quick setup has been completed, the servo drive settings can be optimized through using one button tuning. Select the proper dynamics response settings and take over control through the control panel. Start optimization via setting motor rotation limit to 720 degrees as an example. Now, the one-button tuning is active. The table below shows how the settings have been changed by one-button tuning. Click Return Control to finish the optimization. Open Control Panel and take over control again. You can test your servo drive configuration in jog mode or continuous motion. Congratulations, Synamics S200 is now ready to go.